what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back today we are doing some more episodes of <laughs> haikyuu okay haikyuu season three episode five and six today we're in the thick of things the sets are tied one one and the great one the one that i've been waiting on sukishima sukishima it's turned up Finally showing some love outwardly for volleyball. That's the moment that you get hooked on volleyball. He's finally got to see Tsukishima Suki show some emotion, man. You know what I mean? Um, getting out of that shell, you know, and really showing how much it means to him. Because when you when you go out with a goal. You know what I mean? I could preach right here. When you go out uh, ha, with a goal, yes, mm-hmm, 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 and you accomplish, mm-hmm, yes, yes, that goal, uh-huh, yes, aha, uh -huh, yeah, mm-hmm, and you accomplish that goal, yes, yes, you feel exhilarated, yes, in that moment, you have no option, yes, ha uh -huh, yes, <laughs> mm-hmm, 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 you have no option, but to show some emotion, to get out of that shell, yes, 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 mm -hmm. <laughs> alright, so yeah, man, so it was good to see, anyways, we're gonna jump into these reactions for today, matches heating up, brother, the matches even up, and it came, it was, it was the ending point to seal the set, too, so that make it even more great, Three sets remaining. Three sets remaining. We still need to win two more. So, here we go. See you guys for the review. Alright, so that was episodes five and six. High Q season three, man. I have to say. It's very inspired. It's a very inspiring show, man. Makes you want to go out there and knock some balls over the net. You know what I'm saying? Um, I wouldn't know where to go to do that, to be honest. Um, I guess I could look it up. <laughs> but in any case, I wouldn't do it now. You know, pandemic and all. Anyways, um, so yeah, man, got a chance to see the fight for the fourth set. Of course, we're going into the final set of the match. Where this is it. Both teams are, you know, getting tired. Both teams getting tired, man. And it, it's so, it's obvious. Kageyama is losing form. And that that's how it is. That's how it is. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, it's it's who can, can um, it's the, it's the game seven of the NBA. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's who can outlast the other opponents. Because, you know, you're not always going to have you know full stamina going into each round of the 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 playoffs you know what i mean um and this is the finals so i can imagine all that work that you put in and throughout the matches you know long matches and i think they only in this tournament they only won one match in straight sets i think i think it was only one match all the others went three sets so um and this one is going five so this is definitely going to push them way further than they've ever been plus all that stress all that stamina you know what i'm saying eating at it getting it you know a day's rest to come back to this one you know come back to this finals and to be playing against the strongest team it's going to take the toll. It's going to take everything you got. You got to push out everything you got for this final set, for this final game. So I'm looking forward to seeing how this final set is going to be because, you know, is Ushijima at full strength now? Is he using, because they said he was only at like 70%. 
So is the engine ready to roar? Is that what it is that they're setting up? I don't know if Shirato Izawa has ever been pushed to a fifth set in a final before. We don't have the stats. Maybe they have been in this position before. Probably not in the prefecture, but maybe in nationals. When they went to nationals, they probably been pushed to a fifth set. Um, but who knows? Who knows? You know what I mean? Like, but in any case, man, I'm definitely enjoying what I'm seeing. Seeing Karasuno evolve on the court is a sight to behold. You know what I mean? It's one of the few things that you get to see. Hold on. Okay. So, sorry about that. <laughs> I just got a message on my phone. I needed to look at it to see what it was. Um, so, in any case... It's always good to see that, you know what I'm saying, evolution when it comes on to team because you've seen it happening in front of your eyes, them doing things. Sometimes it fails, you know what I'm saying, it's going to take everything in their arsenal, throwing everything at them. And there's things that they do that they have no answer for, you know what I'm saying. Shirato Izawa, they have no answer. For some of the stuff that Karasuno does. You know what I mean? Um, they adjust on the fly. He's a great coach. At one point, I wanted to say I would have loved to see the old man, Ukai. You know what I'm saying? Coach the team. I think, I think, I think him with this team, I think him with this team would have taken them over a lot of the humps. You get what I'm saying? I think, but... This is no this this is no disrespect to the grandson. Don't get me wrong. I just would have loved to see how Hukai coached because he's legendary in the game. I mean, even the coach for Shirato Izawa respected him. So they used to fight at that level. You know what I'm saying? They used to fight at that level. So I would have just loved to see him coach these set of guys and see what he could have possibly brought out of them. You know what I'm saying? Um, when it comes on to his grandson, his grandson is, is a rookie coach. He's a rookie coach. Basically, you know, I don't think he's been a coach for a whole year. He just started coaching. And for him to be able to do this good of a job with these kids, it just goes to show you that um, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, you know. So I'm definitely looking forward to, um, to seeing – what this fifth set is going to entail we got four episodes to go i don't think i'm going to be doing um all four of them at once we'll see how it goes depending on how episode eight finishes i'll decide if i'll do because if i do episode nine then i'm definitely going to do episode 10 right so that's going to determine how i watch it based on how episode eight ends if it ends on like a cliffhanger or something like that if it doesn't end like something like this was very conclusive way to end an episode with not necessarily there's no cliffhanger it's the end of a set we're going into the fifth set and um you know i want them to win i want karasuno to win this match because it's going to put them on a whole new level and i'm guessing season four would be about nationals right it must must be um somebody said in i i, I think somebody um had said to me before hey season four is super hype and all of that stuff you know what i mean i haven't watched it yet so i <laughs> i have no clue what entails in season four um but as i said before if they win this match right if they win this match it's going to be really cool to see them in nationals and see what the rest of the nation has to offer you know, other than Shirato Izawa here as one of the top schools in the country. You know what I mean? So, in any case, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, I will catch you guys next time. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to comment. I'll see you guys later, man. Peace.